MLB The Show 21 was one of the biggest video games this summer. This seems like an oddity because MLB The Show has never had the type of player base it has today. Today I am here to discuss the unlikely event that MLB The Show 21 became one of the most popular video games this year. Make sure to like and subscribe and enjoy the video. It all starts in the beginning. MLB The Show 20 had the most sales in franchise history. This along with the fact that through August of 2020, MLB The Show 20 was the 8th best selling game of the year, also was an exclusive to the PS4. Yes, a PS4 exclusive was the 8th best selling game of the year with the game only being out for around 5 months. It could not compete with the best selling franchises like Call of Duty with their title, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and Nintendo with Animal Crossing New Horizons. This was very impressive for Sony and San Diego Studios to be anywhere near these behemoths of gaming. 2020 was a very weird year. The likes of a new virus and outrage across the country was something that no one could have seen coming. With everyone being forced to stay home, video games became one of the main resources for people to relax at a point where no one could. Video games became a retreat for many people. With this, video game sales increased. That November came a time that most gamers remember. Two brand new consoles would be released the next generation of the PlayStation and the Xbox. Sony released the PlayStation 5, and Microsoft released the Xbox Series X. These consoles could not be bought quicker. They sold out everywhere. To the point of recording this video, it is still very difficult to get a hold of one of these consoles. With the next generation consoles selling very quickly to a limited number of people, many stayed on the current generation of Xboxes and PlayStations. The PS4 and Xbox One were the two consoles that most people stayed on. Many new titles were coming out too, so it was a great time to play. In March, just like every year, the PlayStation exclusive MLB The Show would come out. This time though, something was different. For the first time ever, MLB The Show would be on both Xbox and PlayStation. The game was for both the next and the current generation of consoles. Along with the releasing on a whole new platform, the game was also free on Xbox with the purchase of Xbox Game Pass. If you had an Xbox and had Game Pass, the game was free. Sony and San Diego Studios set themselves up for a massive 2021. In April of 2021, MLB The Show 21 was the best selling game of the month. It beat out new Pokemon Snap and Mario Kart 8 from Nintendo. It also took Call of Duty Cold War off of the number one spot. These are the numbers which seem normal for games that come out on four consoles and new to two of them, but this does not even count Xbox digital sales. Xbox digital sales might be the biggest number out of any of these. In May of 2021, MLB The Show 21 fell to two on the leaderboards of top selling games of the month. Once again, Xbox digital sales are not counted. It fell to a new release, Resident Evil Village, a game from Capcom USA. In June of 2021, MLB The Show 21 fell even farther, this time to 4. It is overtaken by Mario Golf Super Rush, a game by Nintendo, and Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, a game for PS5 by Sony. All of this to say, with the latest reports of July 2021, MLB The Show is at 7 in the NPD's game purchases. It is behind Call of Duty Cold War and a few others. During all of this, MLB The Show grows its popularity to its target audience, teens, and young adults. One way that this is done is through YouTube. YouTube and TikTok. Many channels that have never touched the games now play it regularly or even have a completely new channel for it. TikTok, the app that everyone loves, is another reason why MLB The Show blew up in popularity. Many creators that would stream the game now uploaded clips that would go viral. Many gained a massive following because of this. MLB The Show, in my opinion, has also helped the sport of baseball grow and get younger fans interested in MLB. MLB TV viewership minutes are up by 18% from 2020 and 43% from 2019. Total games watched is up by 22% from 2020 and 35% from 2019. The sport of baseball is growing thanks to young superstars like Shohei Otani, Fernando Tatis Jr., and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Games like MLB The Show also help younger fans get into baseball. It can also work vice versa with Fernando Tatis being the cover athlete of MLB The Show. Tatis being so exciting in real life, if you see him on a cover of a video game, you may want to try the game out. Bringing everything back. MLB The Show is a high quality video game. It can feel repetitive from former years of the franchise, but the game is great nonetheless. Diamond Dynasty is not pay to win, like my team in 2K and Ultimate Team in Madden. Road to the Show is a story about following your player to make an MLB team and become a superstar. Overall, the game is just spectacular. 
MLB The Show took over the summer. It had many people glued to their screens to grind out moments to get the new monthly cards and to get a better team in Diamond Dynasty. It had many hooked to try to be better at the game because it's very skill based. If other games followed the footsteps like MLB The Show has paved out, it may be the best thing the company could do. I'm looking at you NBA 2K and Madden. Anyways, those are my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and peace.